数的形式，是有政策的，它是也是有阶段性的。那现在我们的孩子去了美国，是我们上海。You mentioned that. Uh, when you grow up, when you grew up in Tianjin, uh, there was a period of Japanese occu occupy uh, occupation. So, um, yes, so what was life like during that period of time? Look, uh, up to nineteen forty one, uh, although the Japanese were already in China, since Tianjin had concessions, the people who lived in the English and French concessions were, did not have any contact with the Japanese. The Japanese were blockaded the concessions, but they were not inside the concession. Only in 1941, in December of 1941, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and declared war on the European countries, that they occupy also the British and French concession, and we felt more of the Japanese uh, occupation at that time. However, while the Chinese people were not treated too well, the treatment of the Jews in Tianjin, and I'm talking about Tianjin, I don't know about other places, was not difficult. We continued to live our life. We continued to uh, to do our thing. We continued to have our to go to school. Uh, we continued to enjoy life. There was no serious lack of food. There was no serious lack of products. Yes, there were some things missing, but that was only a minor issue. And. Uh, there was not too much intervention by the Japanese in our, in our life. Uh, we couldn't hear radio, we had no shortwave, we didn't have any news, but this was uh, uh, minimum hardship. There were no real hardship in Tianjin for the Jewish people during the war. Well, uh, I, I lived in Tianjin. I left Tianjin in 1947. Uh, I'm the first uh, Jew from China with my friend, Mr. Marinsky, uh, who is not alive anymore, to leave China for Israel. I came to Israel before the state. And uh, uh, so I certainly remember uh, my life in China. I was 17, 18 years old. I remember very, I remember very well. Uh, I remember the end of the war. I remember uh, the American Marine Corps that was stationed in China. Uh, I had some Chinese friends, but uh, I don't didn't meet them after I came back to China. Uh, I I worked in China for ten years from nineteen. Uh, 1995 till about two, three years ago. And I traveled to Tianjin many times, so I still know Tianjin. I was in Tianjin six or seven months ago. Uh, I saw Tianjin expanding from two million people when I lived there to 12 million people that is today. Uh, so I remember, I remember very well my life in China. I remember eating Chinese food, probably Bowser, uh, Laza tea, another ch good Chinese food, Tianming Guaza, Shopping Guaza. And so uh, I remember playing, we used to play have sports, we used to have events. Uh, so I do remember my life in China, of course. It was uh, part of my youth. How can one forget it? So, Sam, 
Do you want to say any final words to the Chinese people? I, I am a normal uh, businessman. I'm, a, I'm an engineer, actually, by profession. And uh, I hope that the relationship between uh, China and Israel will continue being very strong. I have a lot of gratitude to the Chinese people for receiving and uh, so many Jews uh, during their difficult period. And uh, the people, in, the Jewish people in China were always uh, well treated and uh, had a good relationship with the Chinese people. And I would very much like to that this relationship and this friendship between our two great nations will continue. And so I say, 再见, 老乡.